Installing and programming your WaterWiz 200 tap timer can be done with these easy steps. Start by installing the batteries, remove battery cover, insert batteries, and then replace the battery cover. To program the WaterWiz 200 tap timer, start by setting the current time and day. You'll notice the different mode settings around the outside of the LCD panel. As you press the mode button, you'll move from one mode to the next in a clockwise fashion. Press, minus or plus to select the current day. Press OK to save the selected day. The time will now be flashing. Hold down to plus, adjust the minutes and hours. Holding plus will automatically run through the 24 hours, changing the time from AM to PM. Press OK to save the set time. To set the watering days, press Mode button to arrive at watering days mode. Zone 1 schedules watering for outlet 1. To select the watering days, press plus. When you have selected the correct day, press OK. To select additional days, press minus or plus, then press OK to save. To set watering days for the other zone, press zone button and repeat the same step. Interval scheduling allows an interval program between one to seven days. For example, setting a schedule for every three days would mean that zone one will run every three days. Press plus until the end of Saturday to get to interval watering. Press minus or plus to adjust the interval. Press OK to save. Press the zone button to set an interval schedule on another zone and repeat the above steps. Start time is the time of day that the tap timer will begin watering. Press mode button to arrive at start time mode. You can set up to four start times per zone. Press plus to set the first start time on cycle A. Press minus or plus to adjust the time. Press OK to save. Press the cycle button to set another start time and use minus or plus to adjust the time. Note that the start time needs to be different for each zone. Run time sets the length of time that the cycle will water for. You can set a different run time per cycle per zone. Press mode button to arrive at run time mode. Press the zone button to select the zone. Cycle A is automatically selected. Adjust the run time for cycle A using a minus or plus. Press OK to save. Press the cycle button to select the other cycles and repeat the above steps. Once the cycle run times are set, press the zone buttons to set the cycle run times for the other zone. The watering schedule will only operate when the timer is in auto mode. Press mode button to arrive at auto mode. The screen display will alternate between the current time and the next start time for each zone. Ensure after scheduling that the timer is left on auto mode. Off mode is used to stop watering for an extended period of time. Press mode button to arrive at off mode. The screen will display off in this mode and the timer will not water automatically whilst in this mode. To start the automatic program again, press until the arrow is pointed to auto. The program will begin watering at the next scheduled watering start time. In off mode, the timer will still maintain the timer programs. To manually turn on watering, ensure the arrow is pointed to auto mode by pressing the mode button. Begin manual watering by pressing the on off manual button. Press the zone button to select the zone you want to manually water. Press minus or plus to adjust the manual run time. Press OK to begin the manual watering. The valve will automatically close after the scheduled time and the minutes will return to zero or you can press on off manual button. To reset the timer, press and hold OK for five seconds to erase all settings in the timer and it will return to the original factory settings. The screen will display reset. 
you can follow the same steps to program the WaterWiz 100 and the WaterWiz 400. The WaterWiz 100 has one outlet to program. The WaterWiz 400 has three additional outlets to program. For more information on the WaterWiz 100, 200 and 400 models, visit our website at holmanindustries.com.au.